Where do you want to go in 2021? A place with hidden beaches, perfect blue waters, and stunning landscapes. A place with luxury accommodations to spend the whole day relaxing at, with delicious foods available from all around the world. With a touch of unique history, then you should consider this remote paradise island off the south coast of Vietnam. This is the top 10 things to do in Condal. So after arriving in Condal this afternoon, the number one thing that we had to do is come and get some food. So we found this really nice cafe restaurant called Infinity Cafe. I had some summer rolls which you make yourself, so we would definitely recommend. I had the chicken sandwich with bacon, egg, cheese and really beautiful crispy chips, really good. And watermelon and coffee, you said it reminded you of, you know, Bali, Bali style cafes. We've got a really cool aesthetic here, it's like Instagrammers dream, you see people snapping loads of pictures and it's a good place for the gram. And good value too, yeah. about 300 or so for the food. Yeah, really good. Which is good. good value for where we are. So very nice, that was number one on the list, go grab some beautiful food. Let's go check out number two thing to do. I reckon we're gonna go check out the local beach. Yeah, we're gonna go see the beach next, so yeah. see you there. Cool, number two, here we go. Leaving the main town, you arrive immediately at the beautiful waterfront promenade. A short, refreshing five-minute walk brings you to Lovoy Beach. The bay is wide open, providing spectacular views of Condal's rugged landscape, and the soft sand is littered only with shells. The eastward view would be perfect for watching sunrise. Still really beautiful and really nice and chilled. Yeah, really cool. So that's number two thing to do in Condal. We've got a bit hungry now, we're about to head off to a seafood restaurant, have some delicious fresh soup, seafood. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure like on Condal Island there's going to be loads of like really tasty seafood and fish and everything, so if you want to get fish, here's the place to get it, isn't it? Yeah, so, should be really good, so yeah. let's go see what they've got. Yeah. We came to Con Son Juan restaurant, just five minutes from our hotel. Is the food yummy? Very yummy. Very good. we got some fresh fish from the island, con son fish, some fried muck, which is squid, nice fresh steamed crab. We got all of that plus two drinks, and it just cost 600K, uh, which is not too bad. Come to a seafood restaurant, that's number three on the list for things to do in Condal. Hey guys and welcome to our day two. We have come here to the beautiful resort called The Secret. So nice here. We just decided to come here because it's like a five minutes walk away from our hotel. And our hotel doesn't have a pool. Just been enjoying lounging around, having a little dip in the pool with a beautiful view of the sea right in front of us. It's really beautiful here. It's a huge pool. You're only a few meters away from the beach. You just got to buy a couple of drinks or yeah. buy some food from the restaurant and you can stay here the whole day. So that is our number four thing to do in Condal. Come to the swimming pool with a luxury resort and hang out all day. Yay. <laughs> Very nice. I think next up, we might go to explore another beach. We might go rent a motorbike and head to see a new beach on the island. What do yeah, you think? Sounds great. And maybe even catch a sunset there. Like most of Vietnam, Con Dao is best explored by motorbike, which will only cost around 150,000. The island isn't highly developed, meaning the windy roads are quiet, though surprisingly well maintained. The coastal roads are a joy to ride and accompanied by stunning views. Traveling by motorbike is the best way to experience Con Dao. For beginner riders, it's best to return home before nightfall. While exploring the island, leave plenty of time to stop and take in the sights at some of Condal's most scenic viewpoints. Number six on the list in Condal, come to a viewpoint! Stop anywhere along your journey, or seek out some in particular, like Condal's original entry point, Pier 914. So we took a little 
drive around 20 minutes or 15 kilometers from the secret where we were chilling this morning. Yeah, this beach is so nice. It's really beautiful. It's fairly empty to be honest. And it's really cool because it's right next to the airport. It is the island's only airport. And I'm standing right under the flight path for the planes. In a few minutes, I'm expecting a plane to land right above my head. It is drifting, oh my God. Never seen that anywhere before. That is crazy. Drive a bike on the island and check out some viewpoints. Those are definitely some things to do. And to come and check out this one, the airport beach. Yeah. Uh, the runway for the only runway on the island was just over there. So you see loads of planes landing and taking off. Pretty cool to see, right? Yeah, definitely amazing. So definitely check out this beach if you're in Condal. <laughs> That's right. We went to have dinner at this place called Bar 200 that's recommended for one of the best pizzas on the island and we really agree. Yeah, it was really tasty actually. I was really impressed with it. Yeah, to be on this little island, get really good pizza for just 200k, so that's good. Yeah. If you feel a bit homesick or you want to get a really good pizza, some Western food, we can recommend that place. This morning we just took a quick trip to go see the French tiger cages. If you're into the culture and the history, find out more about the island, that's a really good thing to do. We didn't really know much about Condal or anything like that or the history, so it was definitely an eye-opener to, to check that out. So I'm glad we managed to squeeze it in. Only 50,000 and you could go to five different uh, cultural and historic sites around the island. So we've just checked out of our accommodation here at Villa Maison. I thought it was really beautiful. It's a really nice place to stay on the island. I really enjoyed our stay here. Really comfortable. It's close to everything, like walking distance to the beaches. I thought the food here was fantastic. People come to Villa Maison for the food. So if you're a foodie, this is a great place to stay too. Yeah, and there's loads of choice on the menu from like Asian food, Vietnamese food to Western food. So you won't have any trouble finding anything. And they have loads of veggie options too. A nice and bougie, but not the most expensive accommodation. It's such good value to be honest, so definitely would recommend staying here. That was some of our information on what we did in three days, some ideas for what you can do if you come to Condal. Overall, we really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful little island, not too developed yet, so that's great. It's really lovely, so I'm sure you'll have a good time here. Don't forget to check out the seafood too. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. <laughs> Comment down below any suggestions you have or what you liked about the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more content soon. Thanks for supporting the channel. Yeah. Hope you get a chance to come to Condal soon. Hope you enjoy the video. So. Yeah. See you next time. Thank See you. See you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe or click here to watch another video you might like.